Hi. Hi. I have had these strings on this racket for probably about a year now, and I'm leaving. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How oh, can I help you? Well, I've had these strings on this racket for about a year and they're not broken or anything, which is not unusual because I never break them, but I'm trying to figure out when to restring it. Well, for one thing, you can check the racket label. It's on your the throat of your racket and check what the restring by date is. Oh, <laughs> it says December 2022. Okay, well, it's definitely time to restring then. Yeah, I guess so. What made you pick that date anyway? Well, I'm glad you asked. In this video, I'll share with you how I determine the frequency of restringing based on your game, string type, and how often you play. All right, so I have a chart here that I have uh, three columns, the player type, string type, and the frequency of stringing, which is determined by these two uh, columns. So let's take a look at the recreational player first and I have um, two rows here and it's dependent on the string type. So this first one is synthetic gut or hybrid. And you can use that formula that you hear often, restring in a year as, as many times as you play in a week. Now for a recreational player that uses natural gut, uh, you can restring it every 12 months because of the fact that it does um, hold tension and it's pretty resilient throughout its uh, string life. Now for a competitive player, there's four different string types. So we'll talk about the synthetic gut and um, you probably want to restring it before each league season so you can start off with fresh strings. For a hybrid setup, uh, you would go every two to three months because of the fact that the polyester does lose tension and you want to make sure that you're replacing it. And when you have a full bit of polyester, then you want to go to uh, every month because of the fact that it, you know, it loses tension and you don't want to play with dead strings. And um, natural gut is the final one here. And if your strings can last nine months, that's great, but I would restring it after that point. All right, so now that we covered all of this, how would you assess your frequency of restringing? Well, I'm a recreational player. I play about three times a week. So, oh, what kind of string is this? It's Prince Lightning Pro, which is a synthetic gun. Okay, so every four months? Yes, you're correct. Okay, so all right, so now I get it. I understand the frequency of restringing. Why is that important? That's a good question. Did you know that a newly strung racket will lose tension as soon as it comes off of the stringing machine? In fact, over time, it'll continue to lose tension and resilience, which means that the strings will absorb energy from the ball as opposed to returning energy to the ball. So does that mean if there's less energy to the ball, then, that, then I'm losing power? Yes, when your strings are dead, you have to swing harder to get power, which can lead to arm issues because of the extra effort you're exerting. Dead strings can also cause balls to launch erratically off the strings, which can also affect your control. Okay, well, um... Is there some way that I can measure if my strings are dead? Well, there are a couple of devices that I use, but uh, it helps to take an initial reading or measurement right after the racket was strung. Oh, well, how about this racket? You, you strung this racket? <laughs> well, this would be the perfect racket to determine how I use the Babylon RDC and the ERT300. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate the two devices, uh, starting with the Babylon RDC. Now what this does, it takes the string bed deflection and it's based on a scale of one to a hundred. So it doesn't give you the actual poundage, uh, um, but it does give you a, 
a unit of measurement um, based on that scale. And I took an initial uh, reading and it came out at 55. It was strung at 54 pounds. And right now it's reading at 41. So it has a feature where you can uh, actually check the potential energy that's in the string. So you can really see if it is dead. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is switch to that screen and I'm just gonna go ahead and put the value of 55 as the initial uh, string bed deflection. And right now it's coming out at 49%. So uh, what the RDC recommends is anytime it's below 50, uh, your racket uh, should be restrung. I'm surprised that it's not lower than 49% though, uh, being that the strings were on there for a year. Uh, another good device, and uh, a lot of you have it, is the ERT300. And this also will do uh, basically the same thing. Uh, it does take string bed stiffness uh, by sending um, frequencies into the string that simulates the uh, impact of a ball. So what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and install this into the string bed. And um, my initial value after stringing was also at 55 and that was in pounds. Uh, but I did convert it into uh, DT, which is uh, dynamic tension. And so uh, that was 38. And so what I'm going to do is compare the DT now and see what it is at uh, right now. So you can see that it's at uh, right there at 27. So what you're going to do is um, you take the DT from the initial reading and you subtract the... Uh, the difference so that would be uh, 11 so I'm gonna divide that and just track what the uh, uh, tension loss uh, in DT is so according to my math it's 28 percent so what it recommends is that anytime um, your racket reaches 10 percent or a maximum of 20 percent that you restring your racket. Otherwise, it's considering that the strings are dead. So these two devices are a great way to uh, help convince your uh, customers that their strings are really dead. Hi there. Hi, I'm here to pick up my racket. Oh yes, it's ready. Thank you. You're welcome. So now that you know everything about the frequency of stringing and how it can help your game, do you have any questions? Yes, I do. Now that it's all perfectly strung, does that guarantee that I'm going to win all my matches? No, it's not going to guarantee that you'll win all your matches. But if you lose a match, I can guarantee it's not going to be your string's fault. <laughs> okay, great. Thanks for watching. Happy stringing. And, and let, let your, your strings, strings play. play.